Mm -hmm. Mzwai, there's a number of analysts who are saying that while the former president was speaking at the Nazareth uh, Baptist Church, yeah. he, some say it was, it was the clearest indication that he wants to return to the highest office in the land, but others are saying no, it wasn't a clearest um, you know, indication. In fact, it's a smoke screen for a candidate that he's going to be grooming to take over the running of the MK party. What was your reading of that? Well, uh, there are a few um, things around this matter, eh, Bongiwe. Um, maybe let's start uh, right at the beginning. Even if he has the clearest intentions, even if he wants to go back to the highest office, it's not possible. In fact, I normally make this example to say uh, of, all, uh, of all of 60 million South Africans, two people can never be president again. President Jacob Zuma, President Tawumbeki, those ones can't be president anymore. Our constitution is very clear. No person can serve more than two terms. And I know some people will try and argue and say uh, both this president didn't finish their terms. But the constitution again says um, even if someone uh, finishes uh, your term, that term uh, is attributed to you. Let me give you a very quick example, Bongiwa. President Ramaphosa started in 2018 to finish uh, President Zuma's term. And then he started his in 2019, and then he's concluding it now. He is contesting for the second term. He can still serve the full term. Why? Because it doesn't count that he finished the term of former President Jacob Zuma. So basically... <laughs> Uh, <laughs> Baba Jomo Butandas, I should not eat. Ufunu hair put in Jalus is the land of Lamoto Tandaza. But Tandaza, then there is man, our Shumaya and then there is man. They are warm. In government, they mustn't see that they are not no day. The problem is that they don't know that the people know me better than they, they do. That's a problem they have. Even the media, they think they know me better. No, the people of this country know me better than they do. They know better how honest I am than they do. <clears throat> They've tried to tell people how useless this man is. The media, they have. <laughs> they can't succeed because people know me. You know, here, people know me. Yeah, you guys, I am coming up here with, oh, to report bad news uh, to those who are uh, fans or to those who admire uh, Jacob Zuma, especially when you're looking at what Jacob Zuma has done for South Africa and you want him to go back to power and lead the country because also he is a socialist. So there are a lot of benefit in terms of that or in terms of the, us having him in power. Um, there, are, there have been quite a number of things that have unfolded, you know what I'm saying, ever since Jacob Zuma has announced his association with or uh, look, his association with Umkonto Wesizwe, uh, ever since he announced his endorsement to Umkonto Wesizwe, and also, uh, look, uh, uh, ever since he denounced the ANC, there has been a lot of things that have unfolded, you know what I'm saying? So, those are the things that today we are talking about. And I did ask the question previously to say, I thought in the Constitution, um, I thought that uh, in the South African Constitution, uh, you are allowed to, to, to be the president 
after you have finished your term. But it turns out that I was wrong, right? And also, you, you know, uh, just because of what Zuma said that he is now coming back, oh, Ukuza Ibuya in power, right? So I thought, whoa, okay, so Jacob Zuma is now coming back. Or maybe then it was the ANC policy that a person cannot be a president uh, more, than, more than 10 years or more than a decade. So I thought, oh, maybe it's the policy of the ANC. But it turns out that no, actually, uh, according to them, it's actually the policy of, uh, of the country. But this is Jacob Zuma. You are dealing with one man who's always five steps ahead. So that's the reason I get fascinated when it comes to Jacob Zuma. That's the character that I would love to sit with one day. Because that guy, it looks like he sits down and he plans his move very well. And it's so interesting and you can't just f figure out Uzuma in a minute. Never. Never. Zuma's moves are always calculated. And that's what impresses me about this man, as old as he is. But wow, hey, in terms of, in terms of his movement. So I will not be shocked if Zuma surprises us. You know what I'm saying? And I will not be shocked if one day we get to learn that there's a loophole in the Constitution and Zuma has explored that loophole. You know, when you talk about people that are aging like wine, you're talking about Zuma. And that is what I would love to be when I'm old. I would love to have this thing of people coming to me to consult because of the wisdom that I would, I would have accumulated as I grow. Just like this man, you know what I'm saying? Uh, this guy, no. Jacob Zuma, guys, is something else. As he grows, it's the more it becomes more difficult to deal with Jacob Zuma. That man is five steps ahead. Always the preparedness. So I'll not be shocked if he surprises us with a loophole in the Constitution. But we are about to dive into this video and unpack everything that has unfolded, provided that you are interested. If you are interested, then you better stick around and watch this video till the end. But yeah, before you start watching the video until the end, you need to subscribe, like the video, comment in the comment section below. You need to click the notification bell. You need to watch the video until the end. Guys, you need to watch the ads. That's how you financially contribute to this YouTube channel. Also, good people, you need to, um, I mean, you need to, guys to share this video, right? Guys, we are on our journey. We want to see if we can't get to uh, 50,000 subscribers. Uh, just let's attempt it, guys, and see uh go to where where are we gonna be you know what i'm saying okay speaking about everything that is gonna that, that we're gonna be there's also another way to support this youtube channel there is a look you'll find in the video description below uh banking details because i now have I, I have a media company and that media company is in look is in look is in charge of all of my media or my social media everything that is happening there it is angled uh, or it is being uh, uh it's the property of mtondowe to see media i'll explain one day why i named my media company mtondowe to see media right so now let's go back to look so should you wish to support guys please and another thing guys um please guys i i, I need I, I, look, 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 please support me on this one. I want to raise money and uh, I want to interview Jacob Zuma. Uh, uh, guys, please make it possible for me. To those that know Jacob Zuma, I'm fascinated about the man's movement. I'm fascinated about the, the way he thinks. I'm fascinated about the way he the way he strategizes, you know. And that's why Vosnova calls him a best strategist. I'm fascinated about that. I will want to sit down with Jacob Zuma and learn more. You know what I'm saying? There are a few people that I would love to sit with in this country. Jacob Zuma knows how to control narrative. Jacob Zuma knows, his, 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 look, he strategizes very well. And then the other lady that I would love to sit with one day, and I would love to interview that lady. Please, guys, if you have power to connect me to these people, number one is Jacob Zuma, right? One is Jacob Zuma. I would love to sit with that guy. Number two, it's Jessica Mdaung. Yeah, that, that woman is very, look, because that woman, just come down, that woman is very dangerous. Marketing, charr, that woman is something else. And then three, yeah, let me add three. I would love to sit with the people who are involved with MK. Look at the marketing strategy, how they, 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 they structured or they strategize in terms of marketing EMK. I would love to learn one or two things from these people, Jacob Zuma. I know if I were to meet that guy, I will learn one or two things. Um, Jessica Mutawong, if I were to sit with that lady, I know I will learn one or two things. Three, the people who are involved with MK. I, the, the people who are in advertising and pushing MK social media-wise, 
I would love to learn one or two things from those people. So me interviewing them, it's actually me wanting to learn more from them because wow, wow. I, I, I salute I salute the people that I've named. Yarr! Guys, you can't help but you can salute the way these people are doing their things. Now, speaking about Jacob Zuma again, uh, you have heard in the look, SAPC news, they've reported that, no, um, Jacob Zuma, according to the, the, the explanation given by SAPC, they think, no, because of a constitution, it, does, it doesn't allow him to be the president again. But again, let, let, me, let me show you something. Constitution, yeah, guys, it's something that is a document. Document that is, we can sit down here and we can draft or we can delete certain things in the constitution. And voila, the constitution can be changed. So the problem is uh, that I, I think will be the problem, look, it will be key. If you are outside, you can't change it outside. You need to be inside. That's why Jacob Zuma, the other time he said, when MK wins and becomes uh, the leading party in South Africa, one of the things that he will do, or they will do, they will change the constitution in terms of how votes are counted. They, will say, they say they want it because people are voting in public, the votes also must be counted in public. So that is Jacob Zuma saying, I can only effect this change when I'm inside. So is the change of how or when people should, be, should retire as president of this country. You just need to go inside, change it. With me, I don't necessarily have a problem with people um, maybe giving them 15 years or 20 years. I, I really don't have a problem. My problem is I, I want the quality or the quality service from an, an individual. To me, uh, because there are three governance, governance, what, 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 I forgot they are called what? Uh, governance style or I don't know. One, there's one that is called um, theocracy. Theocracy, it's when it's Christians. Christians, they, we believe that what God says, it goes without questioning. Number two, there's what we call it autocracy. Autocracy, it's what a king says, it goes, look, itchy in Swaziland, right? And then number, number, that's number two. Number three, you have got what we call it democracy. Democracy, it's when we decide what's good and bad for us. We decide, right? So I'm saying on the basis of this, if you look at uh, the, look, what is happening in this country, we can de decide what's good and best for us. So if, for instance, you've got an, a person that look, is giving us uh, quality services, delivering as a president, so why don't we decide to give that person even more years? I'm just making an example. I'm not saying we sh you should be doing it. I'm just saying... Those are some of the things that you can think of. The other thing that I want us to look at as well is what the IEC have said. According to IEC, they are saying, according to IEC, President Jacob Zuma cannot run for presidency due to criminal record. The former head of state is currently campaigning for the newly formed MK party. That is what has been reported as well to say, IEC, they are saying Jacob Zuma's got criminal record, so he can't be the president of this country. But then we know as well that, you know, criminal record, guys, it's, I don't know, uh, the probation in terms of removing a criminal record, but a criminal record, we also know that it's something that it can be removed by the president, right? So you write to the president and you tell them that, okay, I've served my, my punishment and all this stuff, and then the criminal record just get removed. So now, two things that have happened. It's that the SAPC, uh, they are saying, based on the constitution, Jacob Zuma cannot be the president. Number two, IEC, they are saying, based on their laws, Jacob Zuma has got criminal record, he can't be the president. But then, we've got uh, problem number three. Problem number three is that Jacob Zuma said, these people have abused us um, that to a point that you can't even correct them. So that has necessitated uh, me coming back to power. And having said that, that Jacob Zuma said uh, it has necessitated him to come back to power. That is what Jacob Zuma said. So according to Jacob Zuma, he's going back to power. And to be quite honest, I do not have a problem voting for Zuma at all. Like, honestly speaking. And I always say to people, I don't want you guys to, to hear me. Or I don't want to sound as if I'm saying, uh, I don't want to sound as if I'm saying, uh, Jacob Zuma is a saint and all the stuff. I'm a man, I'm like, me, me, guys, I will tell you, that um, I, when I decide that I'm going to do, or I'm going to follow an individual, I don't follow those that person blindly. I look at uh, 
uh, the bad and the good and i look at that and from that i decide that oh the bad outweighs the good then i can't follow you or the good outweighs the bad then i can follow you. same thing that uh, something applies to relationships right when you decide to date a lady you look at this and say okay i understand there must be there will be things that i wouldn't love about you but then um in your character for me to decide to date you or for me to decide to marry you I'm looking for a person that will, will that I would be able to say, okay, your good outweighs the bad, and because of that, I decide to be with you. So me me deciding to be with you, it's not necessarily because you are an angel, as people will portray and say, my angel, angel are people without sin, right? So I'm deciding consciously because I know you've got weakness, but your weakness I can tolerate them. Because your goodness outweighs your badness. That's how I decide, right? Even with friendships, right? You know for a fact that this friend has got this and this and this witness. But because of his goodness or her goodness outweighs the bad, then you decide, no, I'm going to look, I'm going to keep this person as my friend. You know, so it is out of such things that I decide that hmm, I can still vote for the man, right? Despite some of the things that are bad about him, I can still vote for him. In fact, that's the, 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 that's the only party in South Africa that has convinced me to vote again. So on the 3rd and the 4th of April 2024, I am going to register to vote. I, I, like, I was not registered at all, but MK came. And you know, I don't know how these people did their thing, but they twisted something in my mind and... Now, I'm telling you now, I am going to register to vote because of MK, right? And those people have arrived. So, I also love the fact that they are socialists. But then, having named all the problems that I said to say, wait a minute, there is this problem, the criminal record, and also the fact that he has served, uh, he has served uh, almost a decade. He was only a few months that were, a uh, few months old, yeah, a few months that were left before he concluded that decade. So, what is it that I don't know in the Constitution that Jacob Zuma is planning to explore? Because the man is very good at what he does. He's very good at exploiting just a small and space and he's gone. That is Jacob Zuma for you. He's very good. He looks at loopholes. Yo, that guy, it's like, um, he's, it's like this guy has, uh, oh, this man is not even a guy, this man, it's an old man, Jacob Zuma. It's like, he studies things and he's got people around him who will take the constitution and play, play with the constitution as if they are playing with the ball. They just look at the constitution and understand the constitution and then break it down and look at everything in the constitution. And then it's like they are playing football or they are playing chess game on top of the constitution so they get to see the loopholes and all the stuff and then they will explore every option in the constitution so when it comes to jacob zuma you don't know what is coming up next because the man is unpredictable you cannot predict jacob zuma you cannot and that's also one of the fascinating thing about jacob zuma you cannot predict to jacob zuma that guy yarr, that's why i said one day i want to sit with that man and be like hmm my man tell me something tell me what i don't know you know, when I interview him, guys, it's about learning what I don't know because I know for a fact that there are more things that I don't know that the man is going to teach me. Uh, and I would love to edge like that man. Yeah, that guy is something else. So I, I want you guys to tell me if you if you are deciding to 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 look to, to to vote which party are you voting for number one number two when it comes to mk party what do you think right on the other hand you've got um, mokhen, mokhen. so uh, a man that is said that he couldn't forego his benefit because if he does that and he doesn't become a president so you've lost everything so this is what is going to happen mokhen, mokhen said he will not contest for that but i also say they will not join a political party and i'm like ah, i don't know but then i'm trying i'm trying I'm, I'm trying to say emk cannot run out, run out of uh, resources they cannot run out of uh, ideas like these people know exactly what they are doing these people uh, uh, they can anticipate all the stumbling block and because of that that's why man i'm sitting here and i'm studying emk i'm sitting here and i'm like yeah those people you don't know what they are going to do the next you just sit there and be like what are you gonna do next i'm just wondering so with that being said i'm saying there is a plan they've got a plan they know exactly 
that if Jacob Zuma doesn't become a president, this is the person that's going to be the president. I don't know whether we will see Utu Tuzile Zuma become a president. I don't know. I'm just saying. Right? Uh, Ace Mahashule, what, what's your take? He's in partnership with MK. Uh, we, we, we know almost Zuma scheme, right? The, the radical transformation gang. <laughs> oh, like, what do you think? What do you think? What's your take? Right? You remember that gang about the Dumien, right? Uh, tell me what you think about it, eh? About that woman who was in charge of ANC Women's League. Who's that woman accused of uh, Pusa Face? Uh, I forgot that woman. Uh, you know what I'm saying? That, that gang, that radical transformation gang. Um, so I'm, I'm trying to say they cannot run out of ideas. And I'm happy with Abu Brian Mlefe, what they did at ESCOM, Abu, look, Abu Traudi, what they did at SAPC. So those are people who deliver Abu Dumi and what they did at, uh, look, at SAA. And the way they, they, this radical transformation gang, the way they go about their things, yar, I'm not saying they are free from corruption, but I'm saying at least with them, they are better devils. That's all I can say. Those ones are better devils. I can choose those better devils, not the other ones. <laughs> I want to end this video here with the difficulties that it's said to have imposed upon the former president that he will never be the president of this country. Again, okay? give me in the give me what your, your thoughts in the comment section below. I'll see you guys on the next one. But until then, please take care.